Anthony Fauci has been getting a lot of flack from the right-wing media and from Republicans in general on account of the recent emergence of the Wuhan lab COVID theory. Although it has not been proven either way that the COVID virus was transferred to humans from animals such as bats or that it might have been bioengineered in a Wuhan lab since they are known to create and study such viruses in that lab, including the purposeful creation of intentionally stronger viruses in order to study them. Last year, Fauci was quite direct in stating that the virus was not man-made, lab-created, but now, more recently, has had to backtrack and is calling for the release of the records of Chinese scientists that became very sick in Wuhan weeks before China revealed the existence of COVID. And I have to admit... I suppose it is reasonable to be a little suspicious about the origin of COVID when you learn that the only lab that does this kind of work is in Wuhan, and that Wuhan was the city where the whole thing started, and especially if it may be true, as I've heard, that the people of that city were not known to visit those wet markets where you might run into infected bats and the like. However, all of that said, The bottom line is that it simply isn't known either way, and my sense is that Fauci is simply trying to find the truth, like any decent scientist would. But once this thing became deeply political in 2020, because of the idiot we then had in charge of our government, the right-wing media caught on, and they made Fauci their punching bag. Astrologically, you can see why Fauci is having a difficult time of it in 2021. Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Taurus, opposing his Scorpio moon, It's getting pressure from Saturn in Aquarius, and Uranus transiting through Taurus doesn't help much because while a conjunction can be okay, the opposition to the moon seldom is, especially when Uranus brings the force of its natal opposition to Mars into play. Meanwhile, another very problematic transit is the transiting Neptune in Pisces, squaring natal Mercury in Sagittarius, once again, demonstrating the fact that Neptune in difficult transits tends to be very unfriendly in the political realm because it will diminish your popularity. It also probably points to the inherent weakness in a Mercury-Neptune natal square. The orange menace is the extreme example of this aspect as he constantly says things, Mercury, that aren't true, Neptune, which then come back to haunt him. In my estimation, Fauci's Mercury-Neptune natal square isn't malevolent like Trump's but it will still make him prone to verbal mistakes which he comes to regret later. And, looking forward, the other problem he faces is that Saturn pressure continues all through 2022 as it gets into higher degrees to square the Mars-Uranus opposition, even while Neptune still transits in square to Mercury. So I wouldn't be surprised if he continues to experience problems for a good long while, which could be due to this COVID issue or to other issues, including perhaps being forced to leave his job or maybe resigning in disgust. Of course, do keep in mind, I'm saying all this without a birth time, which nearly always provides data that can either make things even worse, but could also serve to save the day. My sense of Anthony Fauci is that he is a knowledgeable and very decent public servant who was made famous by COVID but who is now also experiencing misfortune on that very account. I wish him well. I hope he can get through all of this unscathed, but I have to admit the astrology for the next 18 months or so is definitely challenging.